District Digest continues with a special feature. Here's Ryan Schwartz. Our final guest on District Digest is Mickey, Dr. Mickey Gordon from Gulf Coast Foot and Ankle Center, and he's also the founder of the Student Scholar Athlete Program. And Mickey, welcome to the program. Well, thank you very much, Ryan. Mickey, why don't we start here and talk about the Student Scholar Athlete Program? What, what exactly is that? Well, the program was something that was formulated over the last year with your help. So once again, thanks for your guidance. There's going to be three $2,500 scholarships awarded to three students uh, from all the public schools, the high schools. Uh, we want them to be accomplished on the athletic field. We want them to have good scholastic grades. And we want them to have uh, good citizenship, be leaders on the team and the community. Um, we want to reward the the athletes and as you know you have some phenomenal athletes and candidates in Collier County. Oh absolutely a lot of these kids go on to college and you see with these signing days that that kids participate in many of them are at division one schools and all the way down to NAI I'm not trying to slide any but a lot of them go on to succeed at the collegiate level now and with that focus what where did you come up with this idea to do this? Well, I was talking with Mike Giusto at the uh, Bank of Florida. I was talking with some of my colleagues in the country. It's just a nice way to be able to give back into the community, something that hopefully will be a good legacy. As you can see, I have a lot of silver, um, and it's just had time. It's, the times are getting harder, and even some of my wealthier patients, um, they're having to help their grandchildren with college because obviously our country's had some bad economic times and this will be something that will hopefully survive and flourish into the future even when we're going through another boom okay and, and like you said uh... the silver and we'll, we'll get on that here as i see you've got a couple medals here uh... on the table on display and uh... we'll get to those uh... so this is its first year of inception so it's just got off the the ground and running how many athletes, scholar athletes, have you been able, have you named so far to this point? We've named three. One from Immokalee, and Mr. R.J. O. Cruz, phenomenal young man, and it was so much fun to go out there and meet with him and the athletic director. We've done two from Gulf Coast. We've done John Shelton and Rachel Elliott. She's a swimmer. Mm -hmm. John's a golfer, and these are remarkable young student athletes. I mean, Mike and I, who have done most of the work and we're evaluating them, we've been very impressed. And it's very easy for the coaches. All they need to do is submit the name to the athletic director. The athletic director sends a form to us. And then at the end of the year, there should be about 140 student athletes nominated. And so that's a pretty good odds for a student to get a scholarship. It's less than 1 in 50. And uh, the bank, myself, and the Hospital Physicians Regional Medical Center are going to choose the athletes who get the scholarships. And Bank of Florida is a very strong community bank here in Naples and the rest of Florida. And Physicians Regional Medical Center is the third or fourth largest hospital corporation in the country. They're traded on the New York Stock Exchange. And I feel very fortunate that they decided to partner with me and help support me. Oh, absolutely. And you said, you know, this, it's, a very, it's not a very difficult process. It doesn't take a whole lot of time for, for coaches uh, and, and the athletic directors to go ahead and submit these nominations for something as valuable as this to a student athlete uh, to get this scholarship. It's pretty amazing. And like you said, the odds of possibly getting the scholarship it's not like you know winning the lottery one in a million chance it's very very possible and just to take that time to go ahead and submit these nominations uh, from the school to see these great student athletes excel and then possibly get this scholarship is really something it's, that's pretty impressive it's very easy it's very real and I know that when I was in college I would have been very grateful to have an additional twenty five hundred dollars for books or even just Absolutely. some spending money. Mm -hmm. Now, and I know I said, talk about the silver. Why, why don't you tell us about what you meant about when you were saying the silver? 
Oh, that's in my hair oh, and my beard. Well, I noticed my hair and my medals. beard. No, well, no. Why don't you talk about the medals? We do have a medal. Silver medals when we do the presentation, <laughs> I, I believe after speaking with the athletic directors, we decided it's probably going to be easy for us to go to their sports banquet to present the medals. We have a medal. It's got the name of, I guess we have to do it this way, uh, the hospital, the bank, and Gulf Coast Foot and Ankle mm -hmm. Center. And then we also present them, and I made one up that says Ryan oh, Schwartz geez, for you. Thank so you. you can maybe, <laughs> I'm flattered. you'll see what we do. Can I get and, the scholarship? <laughs> well, <laughs> you, we need your grade point. <laughs> okay. And I don't know we need I'd to find it. out what else you've done. As, as a practicing podiatrist for over 30 years, I have seen so many injuries and helped so many athletes high school athletes, uh, middle school athletes, uh, things like that. Serious injuries, most of the musculoskeletal injuries occur to the lower extremity. So as a result, I've taken care of world record holders, Olympic gold medalists, and I enjoy treating athletes. It's a challenge. They're motivated to get better, and uh, it's, been very, it's been one of the most rewarding parts of my career. And just in a quick about 30 seconds we've got left, um, what, do, what is your goal for as this program goes forward? What would you like to see happen? Well, I have a lot of people who want to be involved. Once we get it working, hopefully we can get more business partners, more people, more fundraisers, and we can make it a much grander program. It's very modest, but I think with everything, you have to crawl before you can walk, and you have to walk before you can run, and you have to run before you complete a marathon. <laughs> Good analogy there, Mickey, and thanks once again for all this insight on this. Uh, you know, it's a great program what you're doing and, and tying it in also. We've got the Athlete of the Week program, which has been uh, with the school district now for about three, or a little over three years, and so this just adds to it to emphasize, you know, uh, the scholar piece and the athlete side of things, and it's just great what you're doing. So thanks once again for joining us. Thank you very much, Ryan. And we'd like to thank all of our guests here on District Digest, and thank you for watching. For Joe Landon, Leanne Zenzer, and everyone here at the Education Channel, I'm Ryan Schwartz. We'll see you next time.